This week we're headed to Portrait Society Gallery to see a very important, one-of-a-kind exhibition called Husband and Husband, featuring Todd Olson and Lon Michaels. Let's go! We're here at Portrait Society Gallery for the exhibition Husband and Husband with artists and husbands, Lon Michaels and Todd Olson. Thank you. And the part of the exhibition we're standing in right now is really exciting because this is a recreation of your living space. Right, our home. Yeah, and um, one of the things that we see around us are many different paintings from your travels. Side-by-side -side paintings that we, most people um, buy souvenirs, we take all of our supplies and we'll paint side-by-side -side in different locations around the world, wherever we travel, and then we bring that back as our souvenir. So in this room, all the paintings are in fact side by side, and we have Ecuador, Mexico, um, Guatemala, and I think there's some, a couple Parisian paintings in here as well. But then we, um, you know, whereas in the olden days, we go to many places in the world where there's hunting lodges and things. So people um, bring back trophies of their hunts, but our hunts are actually the, the canvases that we bring back. But we incorporated the paint, painted uh, bears and, and deer as well, so we have our own kind of a feel of a French hunting lodge in our home as well. Two years ago, we came back from uh, Ecuador and we stayed in Playas, a small, kind of poor village. But we went around the whole country of Ecuador and came back with 20 paintings. You can see they're on this wall right here. And they're curated, so they're side by side. So for instance, this one of Banos, where the Amazon River actually starts in, in Ecuador, for all of South America. And the volcano erupted while we were there. They were talking about evacuation. So this was two years ago. And then that's my version, and that would be Lon's. Uh, the Quito. angel in Quito, a city of four million people. Which so each painting that. we do has a story to it. And, and also we drove, on that particular trip, we drove across the Andes, which I will say is the most spec spectacular thing you could ever imagine. Every time you come over a precipice, it's like looking at the face of God, and you come upon, you know, um, all of a sudden, uh, 50 llamas will cross the road, or you know, just beautiful, breathtaking um, scenes. So we, we really um, love to get to meet, know the, the country and the people and, and make so many friends with people when we travel because this is a universal language which, um, like many music as well, you know, many people can relate to this visual language. And sometimes we'll be painting, for example, that painting right here, um, there were 400 people uh, surrounding us painting while we were painting and the, and the police officers finally came and they were getting a little bit nervous and Todd said oh well you know this is my husband he's Professor Michaels and they said okay well, only one hour more so like, we, we finished it but they still let us paint it but yeah we've had some great adventures and stories from but that's always a rite of travel. passage for artists too is to right, chased chase away, away by the police right. but in these countries they're very poor and they don't want a lot of people. I would say there was over 400. Right. There was over 800 on the beach here wow. in the morning. So it does get a little bit sometimes it's scary. A little frightening. They start yeah. encroaching a little too close and things. But then somebody comes and then they're so respectful. The people are so kind in these countries, aren't they? And Todd always lets a, a small child or a couple of small childs paint a couple of brushstrokes in his painting, and that really opens up the whole door to uh, how people then treat us so differently when we're there, and we feel like we're kind of. Uh, sacred ambassadors because you know we're in their country we're mentoring the youth back, yes and we mentor the youth and we've had classes in, in countries where there was very, a lot impoverished countries to teach children to paint and it's, it's been a wonderful wonderful uh, life partnership so far yeah. Joe Paps posed and Travis a young beautiful young man posed and this is Gibraltar Rock it's a a really famous landmark about 20 minutes north of Madison. The premise behind this story is that the father tells the son, don't, don't fly too close to the sun because your wings will burn, but the sun does it anyway. And so my son is the halo of Christ, and Christ is on the key, and the, the premise is that Christ is the key. For example, let's say you sin and you do something that your father tells you not to do, you can still be forgiven. So that's what this is all about, and he's it's, you know, roses are raining down on them, his wing is burnt, but um, Joe hopefully will be here tonight. We have them pose in, in wings, and um, 
that was a really wonderful experience. Then Todd did his version, but he did his more, uh, well, go ahead. Okay. This is my version of the uh, Chris and Davis. And we do have this stained glass in our home. So what you're seeing here in the gallery this evening is just a small portion of the art. We have maybe three, four hundred paintings you know, right. curated throughout our home and studio. And, and I painted over. And so Joe Joe came, Joe Caps came over from uh, Milwaukee to our studio and then sat for us. And uh, we actually had real wings and we placed them on their shoulders. So this painting, to me, the sun is reflecting this. The roses are coming down and circling them. He's telling him, don't fly so close to the sun. Obviously, this little uh, dragonfly didn't listen, and its yeah. wings are melting. But then you have all these people in the tower oh, yeah. looking and watching, right. which is symbolic of what goes on in the world. Sometimes a third of the population watches, a third of them kill them, and the rest just kind of just watch. And the same glass. And you know, the, the, what could happen is that he could actually die if he goes with his wings that are made out of wax, he could die. Yeah. And then you've got David up there looking too, so I mean... Stained glass makes it a, a holy place. Yeah, the it's a beautiful the stained glass representation glass. where yeah. it's spirituality too, because we all have to realize that we don't want to... We want to remain tethered to the earth. We don't want to get so grandiose that we have our wings. All the things that were taught and then combine all of the good and leave the bad. And you know, we're not, we're not, we're not religious people, but we're spiritual people, so we try to incorporate the beautiful things in the world because there's so many things that aren't beautiful. So yeah, we try to really we want to leave the world a better place than we came. That's a, such a lovely thing, and it really it permeates all of your work. Thank you. And it actually it seems to you know also permeate the, the idea of being artists together, you know, that you're sharing yes, that yes, together. Yes. You know, one of the blessings in my life is that Lon taught me how to paint eight years ago, and uh, he thought that that would keep me out of trouble. Then he realized that I had I the talent. I thought about my hair. <laughs> so now we're really blessed to have a show husband and husband here at the Portrait Society Gallery. We think until it might be the November first. November 11th. Right, the show runs on the November yeah. So we're getting feedback around the country that this might be one of the first of its kind, not only to have a show husband and husband, to, to celebrate also that we've gained the rights that all Americans have right. that we were refused for many, many years. So you take a look at this painting that I painted of Lon, and you see the magical uh, images of him with uh, butterflies and dragonflies, our little dog Basie. But then you see the Buddha is speaking to Lon, and he's known as a shaman by the University of Wisconsin in books and uh, by doctors and professors there. And then on the other side, the dragonfly, good omens if one should land on you with Jesus telling him. Let me show you how he did my hands. So I wear wings. I was born by thalidomide, but just very mild. So he put my little fingers in. Oh, yeah. So yeah. with the rings, so yeah. So this is an extraordinary exhibition. I think it's uh, it's it's truly a landmark exhibition of masterpieces and fascinating work. Thank you and, very much. and as you're saying, it's so enlightening to be here. So and I just want to say again, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. Pleasure. For being, thank you. for being here. And thank, thank you, you for being so, so much gracious. For being and um, Lon Michaels and Todd Olson and husband and husband at Portrait Society Gallery. Come thank and you. see this exhibition.